Hello everyone. So sa video lesson na ito, i-discuss natin how to find the value of range, variance, and standard deviation for group data. Okay, unlike sa ungrouped data na kapag kumukuha tayo ng range, we just uh, find the highest value and the lowest value and then subtract. But in the group data, uh, like for example, we have a score of 40 students in a 60-point quiz. Given the score and the frequency, so ang gagawin natin para makuha natin yung range, we need to get the class boundaries of the scores. Okay, so how to get the class boundaries of 53 to 58? 53 to 58. So, paano natin kunin to? So, ang gagawin lang natin, magbabawas tayo ng 0.5 sa 53 at dito naman kay 58, magdadagdag tayo ng 0.5. So, magiging 52.5 to 58.5. Same sa 47 to 52. So, magiging 46.5 to 52.5. Same process sa third row. Magiging 40.5 to 46.5. Sa 35 to 40, magiging 34.5 to 40.5 yung class boundaries. And then next, 28.5 to 34.5. Same with 23 to 28, that is 22.5 to 28.5. 16.5 to 22.5, 10.5 to 16.5. And for the last row, 4.5 to 10.5. Now, so how are we going to... Uh, compute the range value of these uh, scores of 40 students in a 60 point quiz. So, magkaiba sila sa ungroup data. So, sa group, pag group data, para makuha natin yung range, that is, get the highest class boundaries minus the lowest class boundaries. So, sa example na to, the highest class boundaries 58.5 in the Lowest class boundary ay 4.5. So, yan ang isa-subtract natin. So, that is 58.5 minus 4.5. Then, get the difference. So, that is 54. Okay, next. How to find, to, uh, how to compute the variance in standard deviation for group data? So, given the same data set. So, how are we going to find first? Uh, compute. Yes, get the value of n or the total frequen uh, frequencies, so that is 40, and then get the class mark. So, when you say class mark, that is the midpoint or the midpoint of our class limit. So, ano ba yung class limits natin dito? Yung scores natin. So, paano kinukuha si class mark? So, yung gitna ng 53 saka ng 58. So, para mas madali nyo makuha, uh, you add 53 plus 58, then divide it by 2. So, 53 plus 58 divided by 2, that is 55.5. Ganun din sa second row, 47 plus 52 divide 2. 47 plus 52 divide 2, that is 49.5. Okay, same process with 41 to, uh, same process of 41 to 46. Uh, 41 plus 46 divided by 2, that is... 43.5. So, ganun din sa 35 to 40, that is 37.5, and 7.5. As you can see, may makakuha kayong pattern yung mag add kayo ng 2.5 sa uh, lower limit natin. So, 53 plus 2.5, that is 55.5. 47 plus 2.5, 49.5. So, maraming way para makuha nyo to ng mas madali. Okay, next. After the class mark, we are going to get the Fx or F, the fre uh, frequency times the class mark. Okay, so imumultiply natin itong col uh, yeah, yung column na to, yung frequency natin, saka yung class mark. So, that is... 3 times 55.5, so ita multiply lang natin, 3 times 55.5, and that is 166.5. Next, 4 times 49.5, that is 198. 1 times 43.5, that is uh, 43.5. Next, 
2 times 37.5, that is 75. Then 10 times 31.5, that is 315. 11 times 25.5, that is 280.5. And then 40 times 19.5, that is 78. Then 3 times 13.5, that is 40.5. And 2 times 7.5, that is 15. And then after that, after that, so we need to get the total of fx or the product of uh, frequency and the class mark. So add lang natin to lahat. Then that is 1,212. So Bakit kailangan natin ito? Para makuha muna natin yung mean value natin. So, to get the mean, uh, that is the summation of fx over n. So, substitute lang natin. So, yung summation of fx natin is 1,212 divided 30. So, the value is 30.3. So, saan natin gagamit itong mean value? So, sa next column natin. So, ibig sabihin nito, yung x natin, which is the class mark, minus the mean, ito, then, uh, yung sagot nila, squared natin. Okay, let's start. 55.5 minus 30.3. So, ganun ang gagawin. Yung class mark natin, sa bawat row, ima-minus natin sa mean value, tapos squared natin. 55.5 minus 30.3 and that is 25.2 then pag in squared natin yung 25.2 that is 635.04 next row 49.5 minus 30.3 that is 19.2 then kapag in squared natin si 19.2 that is 368.64 same with the third row. So, 43.5 minus 30.3, that is 13.2. Then, pag in squared natin yan, that will become 174.24. Same with uh, fourth row. So, 37.5 minus 30.3, that is 7.2. And 7.2 squared, that is 51.84. So, ganun din ang mangyayari sa next row natin and that so kapag minus nyo at in squared natin the answer is 1.44 same what uh, in the next row that is 23.04 pag minus natin tapos in squared that is 23.04 next 19.5 minus 30.3 so ang asagot doon squared natin that is 116.64 and then 13.5 minus 13.3 then, squared natin yung sagot, and that is 282.24. And next, and last, uh, in the last row, 7.5 minus 30.3. So, negative ang sagot dyan. Pero kapag in squared natin, still positive. Dahil, negative times negative ay positive pa rin. So, that is 519.84. Ngayon, uh, after natin makuha yung column na to, may next pa tayong gagawin. Okay, para makuha natin ang variance and standard deviation. So, after that, so, kunin natin. So, ano ibig sabihin nito? Yung column na to, yung sagot natin dito, i-multiply natin sa frequency natin. Yung frequency natin, ito yon dito. So, ito, yung column na to, i-multiply natin sa column na to. So, so like for example, sagutan natin yung first row. That is 3 times 635.04. So, pag multiply natin, that is 1,905.12. And then next, 4 times 368.64. So, uh, this is 4 times 368.4. So, that is... Okay, so that is 4 times 368.64 and that is... 1,474.56 So, ganun din yung gagawin natin dito sa third row So, mumultiply lang natin to So, that is uh, 174.24 So, 2 times 51.84 That is 103.68 10 times 1.44 That is 
11 times 23.04, that is 253.44. 4 times 116.64, that is 466.56. 3 times 282.24, that is 846.72. And 2 times 519.84, that is 1039.68. So, after natin makompute yung bawat row, so ang gagawin naman natin, ito total natin lahat to. So, kapag inad natin yan, so that is 6,278.4. So, saan natin gagamitin to? So, to compute the variance, so itong gagamitin natin formula, the summation of your f times uh, the squared of x minus the mean. Okay? So, so meron na tayong value nito, all over n minus 1. So, yung n natin, ito yon yung to total frequency natin. So, substitute lang natin yan. So, ang value natin ito is 6,278.4 divide. So, yung n natin is 40 minus 1. So, 40 minus 1 is 39. Then, divide nyo lang. 6,278.4 divide 39 is 160.98. So, ito yung variant natin. Ngayon, how to compute the standard deviation? So, alam natin yung standard deviation is yung uh, that is the passive square root of your variance. So, kunin natin yung standard deviation nyo. So, yung square root lang natin yung nakuha natin dito. Or, uh, pwede nyo i-direct using calculator. But, uh, para hindi uh, masyadong confusing. So, ito na ang gamitin natin. So, yung nakuha natin sa variance nyo. So, uh, kadalasan kasi into two decimal places. Kaya, into two decimal places. Na, uh, in hundreds place lang yung nilagay ko. No? So, that is get the square root of 160.98 para makuha natin yung standard deviation. So, the square root of 160.98 is 12.69. So, ganyan lang pagkukunin yung range, variance, and standard deviation of group data. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.